gorgeous soul. Welcome to your April Astrology. It is another wowzer as we have the most extraordinary new black moon in Aries. And it's a hybrid solar eclipse. This is extremely, extremely rare. And it's at 29 degrees Aries. That is full on. This hasn't happened, I believe, for 159 years. It's intense and it is bringing us into our power in a situation or situations. And we are finding our voice and our purpose, but it demands that we let go and we step in to the new way of being where we're authentic, true and spontaneous. Wow. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey Cancer, it's quite a big month for you. Mars is in your sign, as you probably know, and that gives you real power, power to get things done. You might find yourself a little bit more bullshy, perhaps a little bit more argumentative, but you are ready to drive forward. You have this life force, this energy, this power within you. Use it this month to make important decisions about your future. Now talking of your rule of the moon. The full moon on the 6th is making you really think about home and family and you may have a spiritual or an intuitive revelation connected to home and family and you'll have really strong feelings about that that area. It's a great day actually to snuggle in, light a candle, visualize your home and your family being exactly as you want but also room for the cosmos to bring magic into that area and open up your heart to what nurturing means and make sure above all that you're nurturing to yourself on that full moon because it will be. I mean, you know, it's emotional for most people. It's doubly emotionally for you because it's your ruler. Now, Mercury is starting to go retro shadow. It does go retro, full retro on the 21st, but from the 7th, you may find that things aren't quite as clear within groups of people or anything you're doing that involves your connection to others. So that involves the internet, you know, it involves old groups of friends or, you know, any communities you belong to. So get things sorted out and done before then. With Mercury sextile Mars on the 8th, uh, Mars in your sign, you can come into a position of power or you can say something very powerful or put something out there in the world very powerful on the 8th of April. Whatever you're doing, in connection to others and the whole and the one consciousness and groups of people or friendships is super powerful and full of potent energy to manifest as well on the 8th of April. Venus is shifting signs on the 11th and it's a sign before yours. It's going into Gemini. So you're at the end of a love cycle. And that doesn't mean that you're at end of a relationship or even the beginning of a relationship, but it means your own energy is growing and evolving. And there's another layer of understanding and wisdom coming to you about love and abundance. But right now, you're very intuitive. You might be very soppy. Be careful of boundaries when it comes to love um, from the 11th. Um, But the main news of this month, of course, is the new moon and the new black moon in Aries with the hybrid solar eclipse that we haven't had for 159 years. And on top of that... It's at 29 degrees. Anything at 29 degrees is supersonic. Very, very profound. And it's hitting you um, in the position where you're really, really thinking about your career. You're thinking about where am I going? What am I doing? And who am I? And you're also kind of opening up to new experiences. And you're going, hello. I want to let go and, I, and I'm going to have the confidence to shine. You may have a revelation uh, that's really, really profound on that day about what you don't want and what you have to let go of. But you've got to trust yourself that there is a brand new phase and so many things are going to be revealed to you so that you know how to take that new path. So please have faith in that. Try not to resist it because also at some point in that in the day, 
uh, when the moon goes into Taurus, it's squaring Pluto. So there could be a bit of a power struggle with you wanting to make changes and you feeling tied up in some way. Keep going. Keep going forward. There's a fabulous future for you there and a, and a brand new you. Now, the sun is entering Taurus and it's making you more confident when it comes to groups of people. And also on the same theme, we have um, the black moon conjunct the north node in Taurus. Plus, we have um, the sun conjunct the north node. The sun is about our confidence and there is positive signs, symbols and truth coming to us about our future. And also, in your case, which communities are your destiny which groups of friends are your destiny which people that you work with or collaborate with are your destiny and you're being encouraged to be adventurous in that area super exciting and lots of or potential new commitments at the end of the month too so make the most of it beautiful take care and i'll speak to you soon so why do we at michelle knight give you a five minute no questions asked guarantee well our psychics are some of the very best in the world they are hand-picked they have five rigorous test readings the final one with me and i require very detailed information things they couldn't possibly know just by looking at google or social media we want you to be totally blown away by your reading to feel that you've chosen a psychic who you can bond with, who gets you and gives you such specific information, you feel completely reassured. If this doesn't happen within the first five minutes, don't be shy, just put down the phone and your minutes will be topped up or refunded. Your reading should be uplifting, full of clarity and advice, and leave you empowered to make the right decisions for you. We want Michelle Knight to be your spiritual home.